Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB or Chris and as you can tell my video, my voice, <laughs> excuse me, I was going to say the video is shot. My voice is a little shot. Still very much uh, under the weather but we're going to proceed forward because I have uh, a new soap brand to me to try. This is Zingari Man a Mariner and I heard about them this uh, soap from Glenn Helly. I'll put a picture of Glenn right there for you. He's got a shaving channel. Um, and he was talking about how he really enjoyed this scent. And it, it was lime and ozone and maybe an aqua ozone type of uh, scent. <clears throat> and it is. Uh, by the way, this is I got this at uh, West Coast Shaving for $17.95 or $3.59 uh, per ounce. And again, my scale on a per ounce basis is uh, if it's 2 to $3 an ounce, two thumbs up. If it's between three and four dollars an ounce, one thumb up. If it is between uh, four and five dollars an ounce, I start to wince like that. And then if it's over five dollars an ounce, I cry because it hurts me. <laughs> but we're going to try soaps in that category, so don't worry about it. Anyway, let's show you the ingredients for the uh, Zingari Man, the Mariner. And there you have it. There are your ingredients. And uh, I'm looking forward to trying this soap. Today we're going to use the uh, Gillette Super Speed Blue Tip, which you see here, and inside it is riding a Permasharp Super Blade. Let me show you that blade real quick here. And there is your blade. That blade has been requested, and of course I had some laying around, so we'll go with it. And let's uh, get started with our West Coast Shaving Synthetic. I just pushed some of the soap in the bowl here, and we'll start to load here as we're talking to you. I hope everyone is having a great day thus far whenever you watch this video. Again, I've been under the weather and it's kind of funny because one week ago, <clears throat> my wife was sick again and she was home from work one day and she was quite sick actually. And the internet went out. And so when I got home, I was like, see, you, uh, I was kind of making a joke and I said, you angered the gods of hooky. Hooky being used to be missing school or skipping school. And I said, you you angered the gods of hooky and miss work, and so therefore the internet went out. And guess what? A week later, now I'm sick, and so, you know, you shouldn't make fun of people when they're sick. Obviously, I was just poking fun at her, not making fun of her, but uh, I tell you, it's been rough, but uh, we do this shave, and it brings some, you know, some comfort, I think, and it helps me uh, feel better. Voice is shot, coughing, sinus. Um, all that kind of stuff. But we press forward and we just hope we don't get anyone else sick. And so, the <coughs> excuse me, sorry for the cough. All right, looks like we've got a good bit of lather here. So the scent on this is like, it, uh, so let me go back a step. Yesterday I used the Central Texas uh, Hill Country Dew or something like that. And it was like, it was like, bam, in your face, instant joy. This one is a lot more subtle than Z Z Zingari Man. Sense strength to me uh, is about, say, medium, five, 4.5 to 5. Very subtle. It's whereas the Hill Country Dew was bam, bright. This one is subtle, a relaxing, calming type of scent. Um, it's a nice scent. It's an enjoyable scent, but it's it's calm. It's You have to think about it a little bit. It just doesn't hit you between the eyes like the Hill Country uh, do, but it's enjoyable all the same. And we're going to see how this soap performs today. And we thank everybody for joining us once again. It really means a lot. Thanks so much. All right, let's start lathering up. And while we do, <coughs> excuse me, we will talk a little bit. By the way, I want to thank some of our latest supporters. We had EJ Trinidad, who I've known for a long time. I haven't heard from him for a long time, but he was in the groups way back six, seven years ago. And he had sent me a message and became a supporter. So thank you very much, EJ. I really appreciate it. Saying that some of the things that I had said, you know, back in the day rubbed him the wrong way, but he was glad to, you know, essentially how the channel has progressed today. And so thank you very much, EJ. Thanks for keeping an open mind. I really appreciate it. And I'm trying to do the same thing, keep an open mind about these products and and uh, 
use products that I haven't used before, trying brand new stuff, trying stuff that's a little out of my price range and comfort level. And I'm challenging everybody to do the same. Try something maybe you didn't like or you didn't love and see if there's something redeeming about it. And uh, I've been seeing some of these videos, the second chance videos, and I'm really happy because I've seen people getting out of their comfort zone, giving those second chances, and they're not all, they're not all going to be home runs, you know. But by and large, people have found some redeeming qualities in the products. And so I think that is uh, quite good. So thanks very much, those of you who are doing those videos and, and tagging each other. I really do think we need to keep an open mind and let go of some of the old baggage, you know, in this hobby. Because as Jack said from the virtual groom room, watching a video of his yesterday, and he was using a PAA. And essentially he said, I'm paraphrasing, <coughs> excuse me. But he said, the hobby is too small, essentially for people to be squabbling. This is very much a niche hobby. And it's, there's a, you know, relative few people who actually do this and enjoy this. You know, it's shaving. It's not everybody's cup of tea. And so <clears throat> there's not a ton of us. There's a lot, but it's not huge numbers. And so it's important that we, you know, keep an open mind and give people a chance. And it's something I'm doing myself. You're seeing products that I haven't used on the channel. And I hope you'll do the same. Give people a chance. All right, and also I want to thank John Bergen, or Bergen, I'm sorry, John, if I didn't say that right. Um, he contributed also via PayPal. So thank you very much. And folks, if you want to contribute to the channel, you can look in the comments below. There are links for Patreon and PayPal. And what does that do? It brings products like this to the table. This is what I buy the things with, so thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. I couldn't do it without you. I couldn't. And by the way, the uh, slickness on this is quite good. That residual slickness is there. And that's one of the first things I usually check with the new brand. After the visible lather is gone, is there residual slickness there? Does your hand run across it smoothly without drag? And the answer is yes. So that's very good. Very good. The scent, I think, is a little more prominent once it's lathered and on your face. You know, <clears throat> it definitely hits that five mark now. And again, apologies for the coughing. But uh, I really wanted to try this soap on camera. I didn't want to do it off camera. And so I'm filming it just because I like to give my organic, you know, thoughts, as, I, as I've always said. Um, and show you as I'm using it. And so far, it's been quite nice. Really nice, calming, chill sort of scent. <clears throat> so, I'm pretty happy with the performance on the first pass. No problems whatsoever. Very nice. Not really leaving me wanting for anything. So, well done. And by the way, the, the Permasharp blade is quite smooth. <coughs> Again, apologies for all the coughing. I can't help it. <laughs> And the froggy voice, I sound like, if, for those of you who are old enough, if you remember the, uh, the little rascals, I sound like that guy Froggy. Remember him? He used to have a funny voice, and my voice is a little froggy. Like the great Foggy from Froggy from uh, the little rascals. Definitely when you get the soap on your face, you can, uh, you can feel the note or smell the notes better. And since I'm congested, I'm probably not... Um, experience it in, in full. Now, I will say, before I was sick, I smelled the soap in the tub, and I thought it was like 4.5 to 5, and far sense strength, but it, uh, very pleasant, cool, relaxing, you know, just one of those, not a, not a hammer in, the, in between your eyes, you know, sort of scent. So, if you're in the mood some evening to shave with something calm, and you put on some soft music, like spa type music or something that relaxes you. This would be a good, uh, this would be a good soap um, for you to use. And ladies, those of you who watch, and I know not very many ladies watch, but I know Jill does from uh, She Shaves with Jill. Jill, I can't recall whether you have this soap or not, but 
I think this would be a good soap when you're shaving your legs and just, you know, maybe relaxing in the tub or something and just enjoying yourself, you know, to use for that purpose. It works well on the face too, obviously. Just a really calming type of scent. And I like that uh, sort of change of pace in scents where, you know, I'm a big citrus bright scent guy. The one, the, the type of scents that I just do not like are earthy <coughs> scents. I just don't, they just don't jive with me. I just don't have a love for them. But something like this, which is not my, uh, my bam bright citrusy, you know, sweeter type scents, uh, but it's not super earthy. I do like, so this is a well presented scent in my opinion it's a very nice job of blending those uh notes together and they're very harmonious i would say they just go together very well without um without clashing because sometimes you get a soap and my opinion is on some of the uh some of the soaps that are out there and sometimes they're very well regarded is they're very complex, but the ingredients seem like they're fighting with each other rather than getting along. All right, so there's some scents that have a lot of accolades that sometimes the notes, the way I perceive them, seem like they're clashing and fighting and they're not harmonious. And so, <clears throat> you know, keep in mind that the way you perceive scents can be unique to you and your nose in the same way that when you taste food, you may not like something at all that someone else loves, but sometimes some of these soaps that come out that are really like have a lot of buzz and they're made by the great perfumers in the business. <clears throat> I don't like them at all. They come across to me as way too convoluted, <clears throat> um, but sometimes they're quite nice. You know, it really just depends on your, your uh, preference, but sometimes they just don't present themselves to me in the way that other people get them. But this soap here is quite harmonious. Everything, it just works. And when an artisan does something like that and they cause all these notes just to come together beautifully without clashing or fighting, I think that's terrific. And this soap definitely does that. Again, there are plenty that do not and there are plenty of, you know, really folks that are known as terrific perfumers but sometimes I get this up and I'm like, I, I don't get it, you know? But you know, that's subjective. And so I'm generally not one for spicy, earthy. I, I, I tend to like bright, aqua, um, citrus, aqua, this ozone type, fresh, crisp. That's me. And this one I would call fresh, not necessarily crisp, but it's quite lovely, I think. It just comes together nicely for me. Keep that in mind. You may get it and go, I don't care for it, but I will say that once it gets on your face, it uh, <clears throat> it's quite nice. And uh, I've had no performance issues. Another thing I want to keep mentioning to you folks, I've heard some folks talking about lather, you know, on some of the channels and like, that's a good lather, that's a bad lather. Folks, I implore you to understand the type of lather that you produce for yourself that results in the best shave is the best lather. It's not that guy's lather looks the greatest. How did the shave go? Was it comfortable? Was it pleasant? No weepers, creepers, cuts, irritation? <clears throat> then it was good lather. So please do it your way. That's what I'm asking people. That's what I'm saying at the end of every single video. This is your hobby to enjoy and the way you see fit. And in my view, if you're doing something, you're not hurting anybody else, you're not tearing down anybody else, you know, deliberately, or being nasty, then go on and do it. If you like a thin lather, thin lather. If you like a thick lather, lather thick. You know, it's totally up to you. Enjoy it the way you want. Make the most of it by doing it your way. And don't worry about what folks have to say. That's my opinion. <clears throat> That's my, uh, I believe that 100%. And so I hope you all will We'll uh, do the same. I've, see, I've seen a lot of the uh, 54321 
faves that have been going around, which is quite uh, have been quite good. And I have enjoyed watching those. It's really difficult to narrow your choices down. Uh, it, it's super difficult for me. And what I have been pleasantly surprised by is the fact that most of the videos I've watched, people have not selected super premium gear. And that really brought a smile to my face. And I was like, yes. You know, there's just some good classic stuff out there that isn't crazy expensive. You know, you see people... Um, using stuff like Clubman, picking Clubman products and old school vintage razors and stuff that doesn't cost a ton. And I love that because I really fear that sometimes the price of entry for this hobby, <clears throat> you know, depending on who you're listening to, it shouldn't be high because that'll be off-putting from the get-go. And we need new people. I keep saying that. I mean it. So if, in watching these videos and seeing a lot of people just choosing, you know, Mitchell's Wolf had and, you know, legendary classic stuff in addition to new artisan stuff that's very good. I, I've been pleasantly surprised by that. You, I haven't seen like just a ton of people with a steady diet of $5 plus per ounce soaps and, you know, $40, $30, $40 aftershave and so on and so forth. And so that's great. And, you know, not the $300 brushes and a lot of very inexpensive stuff being selected, so that's great. And it also tells you how good the budget gear is. I'm a big fan of budget gear, as you well know. Okay. How did we do? We did really well. The soap has been extremely pleasant. It's been fun to use. Let me step away. We will rinse and come back and do a post for you. Stay tuned. And all right, here we are back with the Magic Me by Witches. There's really good stuff. We'll slap it on here. That was a really uh, pleasant, pleasant, pleasant shave. Really, really nice. Let's talk quickly about what we use before we bring out the aftershave. <clears throat> Gillette, super speed. Uh, I think this is a 50s vintage, maybe 55. I think it's A2. Correct me if I'm wrong below. Um, really, really nice super speed. My favorite is the red, but this one's quite good as well, using the Permashark. Permashark blade, blade was terrific, no problems whatsoever. Zingari, the, Mari the Mariner. <coughs> Sorry, I'm having <laughs> difficulty speaking. Really good. I enjoyed it. Super pleasant, relaxing scent. Notes, harmonious, just like this, you know, presenting itself beautifully. Uh, decent price, one thumb up on the... Uh, it's between three and four dollars an ounce, which gets one thumb up. Still in the good and fair price category, in my view, very good. I will, uh, I will check out more Zingari Man soaps. Tell me below, folks, what's your favorite bright uh, and effervescent type scents from Zingari Man? Because I'll try more in the future. West Coast Shaving Honeycomb, terrific. I think the only ones left they have now are green, but last I looked, they still had green available. Good price, very good brush, <clears throat> and last but not least. We're going to use the fine aqua marine because I thought it would make a good match for this uh, Zingari Man, the Mariner. Mariner. Sorry. Can't speak. It's difficult. <laughs> All right. And there we go. And that's a nice way to round out a lovely shave. I want to thank everyone for joining me. I want to thank all of you for making comments, participating. Thanks so much, EJ and John. I really appreciate it. Truly. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do this without you all. So thanks so much. And until next time, remember, it's your shave. Do it your way. And God bless.